All right, you guys, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlogs. And as always, I appreciate all the love and support. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and clean up the motor in my ZL1. And this thing definitely needs it. I'm going to try to make sure I get the camera a little bit closer so that way you guys can see how dirty it is right now. And I'm going to show you the method uh, that I have that I'm going to be using everything from Adams. So I'm going to be using the all purpose cleaner, the mega foam, so that way the brush and the lug nut brush is you know gonna be damp every time I go over it. So I'll walk you guys through all the steps. Let's go. All right, so I'm trying to show you guys right here. You can see that the motor is absolutely filthy. You can see right there how dirty it is. You know, the, the guy I bought this from, he never really popped the hood. He didn't really do car shows and stuff like that. But I wanted to make sure that this thing was clean and make sure when you guys are gonna clean this you can touch this where it's not too hot you know the motor is not too hot you don't want to be driving around all day and then all of a sudden you know or went down the street to go get something from the store and come back and then you just want to spray it you want to make sure it's nice and cool and then you can go ahead and hit this with the water and go from there all right you guys first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and spray this down you could use a pressure washer or you can use garden hose with an attachment that's what i'm gonna do make sure when you guys spray this don't spray on anything electrical where you're just going to keep it pointing there, like at the fuse box or something like that. Just go right through it, you know, just get the entire engine bay and go from there. There we go. Oh man, already looks better. Jesus, that's crazy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some all-purpose cleaner, but I want the max potential. And don't worry you guys, this doesn't hurt anything electrical or anything like that. And it's okay if it hits the, the paint of the car, like the body right here on the side, it's not gonna hurt it. Sure you get all the hoses the intake if you have like a rotofab intake or another brand just make sure you cover the actual intake itself don't spray this stuff on that we're gonna get this too I'm just gonna overspray this, bro. You don't need to go this far, but this thing was filthy. Do its thing for a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the with the brush. Matter of fact, let's spray a little bit of this on there too. That's not gonna hurt. little corners that that brush couldn't get I'm gonna spray it down Lower here, what I'm gonna do is just try to blow some of this off.
right guys, so as far as the VRT goes, I poured about this much in there, about that much, and the rest of it is all water. After we let that do its thing, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it down, and then I'm gonna take the car over there to the side under the canopy, and I'm gonna wash the whole car. But that's gonna be a completely separate video. When I wash the car, just wanted to show you guys the engine bay process. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this applicator pad right here. Just try to wipe some of it down. the towel so it doesn't look all shiny that's not the goal for me Alright guys, it is now the next day and I'm going to pop the hood and I want to see what it looks like under there. Alright guys, here we go. Oh man, that looks good. Woo. Look at that. All I'm going to do right here is just clean this up right here. Wipe that down a little bit, a little too shiny. But other than that, oh yeah. That looks very, very nice, very clean. The cowl as well, it's got a nice shine to it. Oh yeah, I like it, very nice work. That Adams polishes, man, that thing came through clutch. Definitely follow those steps, man, because I've got down to the hoses, look at this. Look how nice and clean that is, and it's to the touch. There's nothing on there. Look, there's no oil on my finger, look at that. It's to the touch, baby, I like that, I like that. Very nice. Oh yeah, you guys. That's money. Hopefully you guys like what you guys are seeing right now with the finished product. Again, right here, I'm gonna wipe this down and clean this up a little bit down here. But other than that, the motor looks literally like brand new. I didn't want that shiny look. I wanted it to look like factory, like when you're buying it off the showroom. Man, that looks great. All right, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was a fun one for me also, and it's all a learning experience, you know, first time ever messing with a ZL1. So we're just going at, going at it, you know, step by step, one day at a time, and we're moving and grooving, man, so I appreciate it. So hopefully you guys picked up some of the tips or anything that you noticed uh, in the video from the scrubbing to the cleaning to what's the next step you should do before you wipe it down, before you spray it, all this stuff. Make sure the, the engine is uh, cool before you spray with the cold water in the beginning. Uh, you know, just getting the process going. But big shout out to Adams Polishes. I mean, their product worked really, really well. Um, like I said, I'm going to touch up that little area down there on the bottom. Just clean that little spot up. But other than that, overall, all the way around, it was very, very clean. So either way, man, if it's your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. A thumbs up definitely helps out the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Did we do a great job with that? I also cleaned up the uh, car as well. And man, we got more parts coming. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Thank you guys for all the comments. I've been replying back to as many people as I can, as we can. So throughout all my social media, man, I appreciate you guys. YouTube is like out the roof right now. So, and I'm not just saying that. Look at the comments, look at everything. Everything is moving and I appreciate you guys, man, for all the love and support. You know how the drill goes. A Dilla, bow, Superman, right there behind me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.